I'm Marta. And I'm Gertie. We are a Canadian couple who love traveling locally as much as we love traveling abroad. In December, we bought a piece of vacant land three hours north of the city, and we are planning on trading in the city life for a new adventure by building our dream cabin in the woods. Hi everyone, we are back on the land and we passed our framing, our plumbing and our uh, rough in HVAC inspection. So the next one is going to be insulation and vapor barrier. So that's being delivered today and we're gonna start tackling doing some of the insulation. Uh, we finished off the insulation yesterday around the windows and doors, so did our framers. And now we're trying to install our door handle into our door but we put way too much insulation and have to cut a bunch of it out so uh, follow along for uh, what's to come so you can see the insulation doubled in size and is now coming out and we even insulated in there so we're trying to scrape it out scrape all of the extra foam off good so we just finished installing our new door lock. We still gotta wait for this part here because as you can see, this is this is way too small. So we're gonna have to chip this a little bit. So if it, it goes flush like this one, but it looks very nice. Most of our insulation has been dropped off. Our framer actually noticed that the roof insulation, which is our 31 value, was 20 foot wide, uh, which meant we would have wasted a lot because our rafters are 16 and we would have had to cut a ton more work and money wasted. So we're actually gonna send those back and get the right sizes delivered probably tomorrow. And we're returning some of the wood that we had left over that we didn't use, which is really nice that Emerson Lumber picked it up and is taking it back. Hayden's feeling real warm. Took his sweater off. It's not that warm. I'm always frozen. Gotta get these inside now. Sonny, you're the luckiest guy. We are so, so lucky our framer is giving us a crash course on how to insulate. You see how like there's a stud at every 16, which are the red numbers. Um, which then indicates that the space in between is 14 and a half inches, and that's how big those are. Oh. So they're designed to fit perfectly into these cavities. Somewhere like here, where it's not, you have to cut it to size. Yep. So this is like six and three quarters. So pass me that full. So 16 inch centers, these are designed to fit perfectly into place, right? See, that is how you want your insulation to look. Nice and flat. Yeah. Um, the second you start like doing this, yeah. it takes away the R value. Oh, really? So, yeah. Keep so it poofy. You want to keep it like perfectly in the hole like that. Right. And then with that being said too. Oh, I see, I'll vacuum that. Yeah, like if you vacuum that out. Getting suited up. They hate me for this, but. I don't, I think it's great. <laughs> One panel done. I feel like I'm Walter White. You are. Except this doesn't make you as much money as what Walter Not White. Enough, no.
so we are fully insulating now except we don't know if the uh, electrical inspection happened yet so we're waiting for the electrician to call us back we're avoiding the walls that have the wires just in case It's only five o'clock, but the sun is setting. So we're gonna go grab some food and continue doing insulation. We bought a little light. We have our heater, unfortunately, until all the insulation is in and the poly. The house doesn't really stay much warmer than 10 degrees Celsius. So pretty chilly, but we wanna work through it and get at least as much as the insulation in as we can ourselves. And then tomorrow we can start the ceiling insulation as well and the vents. And then our framer, framer is going to start our stairs as well, um, which is exciting. And I'll show, show you some of the porch uh, roof finishing that he did today. Just waiting on our takeout order at the ski hill. The sun's going down. So we just got some takeout because we are going to continue doing insulation. It is pretty dark, even though it's 5.30 and this is dinner. <laughs> so you can see the ridge vents. And we were so lucky our framer was here to catch the insulation with size because it would have been so painful to cut each one of these but now they're 16 inches wide so making some progress as you can see we're putting them flush to uh, the end of the studs versus pushing them further in so that the air can continue to breathe um, we asked the inspector if we had to put those vents all the way through and he said no as long as you have one and then just leave space it should be okay i really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life i never really resuited up because this stuff is really itchy and as ridiculous as i look it will save me tonight because it's already feeling in my hair and i've only done two pieces so Making some decent progress. It's looking a little iffy up there, but it's pretty hard. Our ceilings are pretty tall. Okay, you can imagine it's day two of insulation. Uh, Gertie made tons of progress. Last night, our framers helping us with the rest, our HVAC guy came to finish the rest of the ducting and um, our frame, other framers starting the stairs. So it's pretty exciting of what's going on in there. I'll take you along. Put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart, but I lost it somehow. Listen to me as I say Listen to me as I Slow it down Dream if you want it Enjoy the ride Cause those ups and those downs Is what makes it worth it Slow it down Dream if you want it Enjoy the ride Cause those ups and those downs
So today was our appliance delivery day. The roads here, because of the hot temperatures, melted and the whole thing is ice. So the delivery truck couldn't come up our road. So Gertie is unloading with the delivery men one by one and bringing each appliance. So I'll show you quickly. Yeah, there is our fridge and they're gonna come soon with the washer and dryer. And then we have to get it up this very slippery slope into the house. P.S. Our framer did this nice detail for us on the porch. It looks great. All right, time to bring all these deliveries. We had another load of stair treads and stuff in the back of the pickup. Kind of derailed what we were actually working on today, but it is what it is. It is really icy. Are you selfie? No. I'm <laughs> not selfie. You can see it's really slippery. So the toughest part is the fridge. Three, three of them are gonna try to bring it up here. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bond. I don't know how you got there, but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things And I have to do with it But it's not easy so tell me All right, today was a really long day from 9 a.m. till 5 o'clock. With three hours of sleep. Yeah, very little sleep, but we got a lot done. Um, most of the insulation is done. We just have half a, or a quarter of a roof left. Um, thank goodness our framers were here to help with a lot of catches, like the um, width of the insulation for the ceiling and also our appliances got delivered, although we had to really improvise. And again, thank you for to our framers for helping us move everything because it was super heavy and slippery. Um, anyway, a lot of progress has been made. Our HVAC contractor has been really great too, and he's almost done. Um, he just has a few more runs to do. So progress is really starting to shape up in the interior. The holidays are coming up, so we'll probably just try to do the rest of the insulation, vapor barrier, and leave the drywall until the new year. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video and want to see more and follow our journey, please feel free to subscribe and we appreciate uh, you watching. Thanks.